Hello everyone. I was busy working up this little blanket with a join as you go method and I thought you might like to just have a look at how I'm doing the join. I'm using a join as you go method and because it's worked along a straight edge it's just slightly different to when you work into existing granny clusters as you have to space out these little clusters evenly down each side. Thankfully, with this little rosebud granny square design, I was able to just skip three stitches in between the clusters and it worked out fine. If you like this little square, I do have the tutorial on my channel and I'll leave a link in the description box below and I'll also leave an end card. But for now, let's look at how we crochet these little squares together. Take your first square Insert your hook into any corner and join in the yarn however you do. I do it like this. Then chain three. This will count as your first double crochet. Next, work another two double crochets. All into the corner and then chain one and then work another three double crochets into the same corner. Next we're going to work down this side but we first of all need to chain, sorry we need to skip three so skip one, two, three in the next stitch. We're going to work three double crochets, also known as a granny cluster. Skip three again, one, two, three, and work another three double crochets all into that same stitch and you just repeat this all the way down the side. Skip three, one, two, three and three double crochets. So go ahead all the way down the side to the last three stitches and I'll meet you just before the corner. So here we are, one, two, three stitches just before the corner and we're going to work three double crochets, one chain and three double crochets all into the corner. That's three double crochets, one chain, turn and three double crochets, one two and three. So you do this all the way around exactly what you've done on the first side. Skip three, one, two, three into your next chain or stitch work your three, skip three and then work another three double crochets into the next stitch. So do this around each side all the way across down and to here and I'll meet you just there. So we are now almost completed, all you do is find your third chain, that's our first double crochet or second double crochet and this is the top of our three chains. Just insert your hook under a couple of those loops there, yarn over, pull through and then yarn over, pull through and snip your yarn 
and then pull through. There's absolutely no need to do an invisible join on this design. So there we are, we've completed our, we call them little granny clusters, all the way around this square. So this is really like a setup square. So now for the next square, we're going to just join one side to another. To prepare your second square, just once again, do exactly like you did for the first square. Insert yolk in, the, in any corner and chain three. And then work two double crochets. chain one and then work three double crochets. And then work down the side to the very next corner in exactly the same way you did for your first square. So you're going to skip three, one, two, three and work three double crochets into your next stitch. So you go ahead, skip three, and then work three double crochets in the next stitch all the way to the next corner. And you can end by working three double crochets into the next corner. So I'll see you in a few secs. So here we are with our starting corner just here, working all the way down to the next corner, and we just work three double crochets. So then we can now start to join to our first square. So chain one. If you have your first square above you when you're working, like so, we're going to simply join in the little gaps between the clusters now. So we can see if we just take this square and insert our hook in that corner and grab our yarn, pull it through and pull through. I'll just come a bit closer for you and work a little slip stitch. Work another chain one. And then we're going to complete the corner on this square. So we go back into the corner and work three double crochets. One, two, and three. Let's have a little look now. You can see that this is how it's looking. So this is the corner you're actually working on. This is your first square that you're joining to. So now we're going to join into this little space here. So just insert your hook yarn over, pull through and then pull through again. So you're working a little slip stitch and then yarn over, skip three on the, what, um, the square you're working on. One, two, three and go into there and just work your three double crochets as normal. One, two, and three. Have another look. Next, we're going to go into the next gap. Insert your hook, 
yarn over pull through and pull through again then yarn over and skip three one two three and go into there and work your three double crochets Another look. You can see how they've joined really nicely there now. And that's all there is to it really. You're basically just anchoring this little row of um, granny clusters down into this one. I've done a tutorial before where you remove your hook and insert it and pull through but this is just a slightly different technique skip three one two three and go ahead and work your clusters one two Three. Of course, you wouldn't have your work flat like me. I'm just doing this so you can see what I'm doing. One, two, three. And so on. So just continue doing that until you reach here. So we're now ready to work our very last corner here. So we need to pop three double crochets in there. And then just simply go across to the middle of your next, your opposite corner and work exactly the same just doing a little slip stitch in chain one and then just turn your work and work the rest of your corner by working three double crochets And you work down the rest of the side exactly the same way, skipping one, two, three, and into your next stitch working your three double crochets. So go ahead, work all the way around this second square exactly the same way you did around your first square. Let's just zoom out. There we are. So you're now going to work all the way around here and down here and then join in your third chain. So I'll meet you in a few moments when you've worked all the way around here. So when you've worked all the way down here and across here and done your corner Join in your third turning chain, not turning chain, it's a building chain actually. Just single slip stitch in there, yarn over, pull through and snip your yarn. And there you go, you've got two of your squares join together. So my little blanket's only four squares by three. So once you've done your first two squares, just join on your third square and then 
I'll show you now how you continue to join on additional squares. So I'll just pop that one to one side. So here's my existing blanket. I've worked down one side and all I'm going to do is I've worked into the corner as well here. I'm just going to chain one and just make this a little bit clearer for you. And I'm just going to attach into this corner with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to work my three double crochets back into that corner. One, two, and three. And I'm ready to join again. So we need to find the next little space along, which is just here, and work a slip stitch, and then work, skip three, one, two, let's just see, I know that's the third one, one, two, three and do three double crochets in here. So you're just basically joining on exactly the same way as you did for your previous squares. Let's go ahead, join down this side, and I'll show you then how to do the next corner. Go all the way down to here. So my little blanket's only four squares by three. So once you've done your first two squares, just join on your third square. And then I'll show you now how you continue to join on additional squares. So I'll just pop that one to one side. So here's my existing blanket. I've worked down one side and all I'm going to do is I've worked into the corner as well here. I'm just going to chain one if I can just make this a little bit clearer for you. And I'm just going to attach into this corner with a slip stitch. And then I'm going to work my three double crochets back into that corner. One, two and three and I'm ready to join again so we need to find the next little space along which is just here and work a slip stitch and then work, skip three, one, two, let's just see, I know that's the third one, one, two, three, and do three double crochets in here. So you're just basically joining on exactly the same way as you did for your previous squares. 
go ahead, join down this side, and I'll show you then how to do the next corner. Go all the way down to here. Okay, so I'm at the center now of the corner. I've worked three double crochets into this corner and then I'm going to go into the loop into the center of the directly opposite square. Or I should say diagonally opposite. I like to take my hook out and go in like so and bring the yarn underneath up and over and then do the slip stitch this way. And then just chain one and then work the remaining three double crochets into your corner. One, two, and three. And then, as we haven't got a square to work into there, all we do now is work down this side and complete our square. So we just go, let's zoom out again. All the way across here and down here without joining in anything. So I'll be with you in a few moments when I've completed this. So this is the square we've just joined onto the existing blanket. And now I've just started the corner at the bottom worked across here and next I'm going to join here, work up here and then I'll show you how to do the actual last corner join here. Okay, so we need to just link in this corner with this corner. So I'm just going to turn the work around like so reinsert my hook bring the yarn round and then chain one grab my next Can zoom in a little more for you. There we go. Find the corner and just join with a slip stitch. Can chain one again and then work our three double crochets to complete this corner here. One, two, three. And of course we need to link or join this square now to the blanket. So our next little space is here. So just do a slip stitch and then carry on skipping three, one, two, three, and working our three double crochets into our existing square. And we do this all the way up to the next corner. So carry on, rewind the video if you've forgotten <laughs> what we did just a few moments ago, and then we'll do a final corner complete completion. Righty-o, see you in a few secs. Okay, so we've now reached the corner. I've done the first 
little granny cluster of the corner there. Chain one. Take your hook out. Work diagonally across. Insert your hook underneath and then pop your loop back on your hook and just bring it through and then yarn over and pull through with a slip stitch. Chain one and then work back into the same corner. Three double crochets. One, two, three. And then insert your hook in the next space, slip stitch, and then skip three one, two, three, and work three double crochets. So you'll now be working down this side, which is something you're already familiar with now. It's just the same slip stitch in the next space on the opposite side and so forth. So that has completed the centre of your little squares. I think you'll agree it gives a lovely defined little effect. So basically that's it for this join really. You just continue in this manner. Um, once you know how to do these little connections you just continue joining as you go across here, linking in with the opposite or diagonally opposite square and work your way back down and then work in your final square. So I hope that's given you enough information to continue with a project similar to this yourselves. Um, as I said, can't thank you enough on my other videos for watching and it's always lovely to share something with you um, in the meantime. If you're not already subscribed, it'd be great if you would. It would really help my channel. And also if you give a thumbs up, that helps the algorithm too. As do comments. And I do love hearing from you all. And I do read all your comments and reply as I can. Um, and I think I need to let you know about, yes, bell notifications.